Waterproofing is a necessary requirement for any construction. Water ingress can damage the structure and its stability, thus reducing the service life. Waterproofing membranes are applied wherever water is typically present. In buildings, this includes basements and plinths, balconies and terraces, swimming pools and wet rooms. In infrastructure, application areas comprise parking decks, bridges, sewers, canals, water pipes and tanks. With Winnipas disposable polymer powders and dispersions, it is possible to formulate waterproofing membranes that form a reliable water barrier. They are ideal for the production of one component ready to use waterproofing membranes as well as one and two component cementitious systems. Winnipas silenized styrene acrylate copolymer dispersions are available for one component ready to use waterproofing membranes. They are especially recommended for situations with high hydrostatic pressure. Winnipas dispersible polymer powders are used to formulate dry mix one component waterproofing membranes that are mixed on site with water. Winnipas vinyl acetate ethylene polymer dispersions are chosen for two component cementitious waterproofing membranes. There are two ways of mixing waterproofing membranes. In the case of a one component system, a dry mix mortar modified with Winnipas dispersible polymer powder is mixed into the water under stirring. In the case of a two component system, an aqueous solution containing the Winnipas dispersion is mixed with cement or a dry mix product. One component ready to use waterproofings can be applied right out of the bucket. Waterproofing membranes can be applied by trowel, by brush or by roller. At the Wacker Technical Centers around the globe, products formulated with Winnipas are tested to ensure optimum performance in the specific applications. The waterproofing membrane must adhere securely to the substrate, even under water pressure and after long exposure to water. This characteristic is determined by measuring the hydrostatic water pressure resistance. For this test, the waterproofing membrane is applied to a highly absorbent concrete block. The total coating thickness is 2 to 3 millimeters. After four weeks of storage under standard climatic conditions, the waterproofing membrane is tested in a test rig at 1.5 bar, where it must show resistance to water pressure for seven days. Highly polymer modified waterproofing membranes are even capable of resisting water pressure of up to 7 bar. Structures are exposed to movements caused by the setting of the ground, temperature, humidity changes, or aging of materials. In cementitious structures, this often leads to fine cracks. Flexible waterproofing membranes are able to bridge these cracks, ensuring that the water barrier stays intact. This crack bridging ability is tested in two ways. In accordance with European Test Method EN14891, the crack bridging ability under extremes of temperature is examined. Once the test pieces have been prepared and stored, they are marked on both sides to allow the front and reverse to be tracked by the video camera during testing. The test pieces are fractured at predetermined breakpoints. The test specimen is then clamped in a tensile testing machine. Crack bridging tests are performed in the climatic test chamber. Two installed cameras document the test and show a clear result which can be evaluated by means of a graph. The cracking behavior of a Winnipas modified waterproofing membrane is reported as a mean value of three tests. 
Wacker offers Winnipass grades that provide waterproofing membranes with the required crack bridging ability not only at plus 23 degrees Celsius, but also at minus 5 and even minus 20 degrees Celsius. In addition to EN14891, Wacker has developed its own test method. Here, the waterproofing membrane is applied in a wet thickness of 3 mm to a special test specimen. After storage under standard conditions, a crack is created in the test piece and opened to a specific depth with the aid of the test machine. The waterproofing membrane is observed for a specified period of time and then tested to see whether it is able to permanently bridge this crack. A typical application for waterproofing membranes is wet rooms, which are usually fitted with tiles. Although tiles are almost watertight, the substrate underneath should be protected against moisture. Reliable waterproofing is therefore necessary to prevent damage to the masonry. To ensure reliable solutions, Wacker is conducting tests with formulations based on Winnipass in accordance with EN14891. The waterproofing membrane is applied to a concrete slab. After 24 hours of curing, a ceramic tile adhesive and tiles are applied to the waterproofing membrane. Then each tile is loaded with 20 Newton force for 30 seconds. Afterwards, the pull head plates are glued to the tiles with an epoxy adhesive, and the joints between concrete slab and waterproofing membrane are sealed with a silicone sealant. In accordance with EN14891, the specimen is stored for seven days at standard conditions, followed by water storage. After 21 days of water immersion, the bond strength is tested. To simulate the use in outdoor spaces such as terraces, the specimens are exposed to freeze-thaw cycles. After storage for seven days at standard conditions, followed by immersion in water for 21 days, 25 freeze-thaw cycles are carried out in the climatic test chamber. For each cycle, the specimens are taken out of the water and cooled down to minus 15 degrees Celsius within a period of two hours. After being kept at this temperature for two hours, they are immersed in 20 degrees Celsius water and then heated to plus 15 degrees Celsius and kept at this temperature for two hours. After being exposed to different storage conditions, the tensile adhesion strength is measured in accordance with EN14891. Before the bond strength is determined, the sealant is cut through to the surface of the concrete slab around the perimeter of each tile. The test pieces are pulled at a constant rate of 250 Newton per second. The standard is passed when the tensile adhesive strength is at least 0.5 Newton per millimeter squared. A defined test piece is being stamped out of the waterproofing membrane. Measuring points are assigned. The test specimen on the right is more flexible, which leads to better performance in the final waterproofing application. The waterproofing membrane was formulated with Winnipus 754 ED. With Winnipus polymer binders, we not only provide solutions for waterproofing challenges. Our technical support helps ensure that you find the formulation that best fits your market needs. VACA. Creating tomorrow's solutions.